Hello and welcome to Ganesh's new channel. So today we are going to discuss that how we can form partial differential equations by eliminating the functions. In our last video we have discussed that how we can do it by eliminating constants but this time we are eliminating what? Functions. That's correct. So let's have an example. Form the partial differential equation by eliminating the arbitrary constants. Uh, the function is given to you in this form. Okay. So you have to you have to remove your function. Okay. Arbitrary, arbitrary constant we have done so far. But now what you can do? You can see there are two variables x and t. Right. So partially differentiate the function with respect to x and t. So with, if you are doing with respect to x, what it would be? f of partial differentiation of this function plus partial differentiation of this function. Right? And the coefficient, because coefficient of x is 1, so it will be 1 only. Thereafter, if you double differentiate it, let me write it like this. So again, x plus 80, x minus 80, right? Double differentiation with respect to x. Then after, now take with respect to t. If you differentiate this with respect to t, partially, that means keeping x constant. So what will you get? Give partial differentiation of this function with respect to t. When you will take this, the coefficient of t is a. So, it will come out, right? Thereafter, partial differentiation of this. Now, the coefficient of t is minus a. Right? So, it will come out. It is chain rule. Whenever you do the differentiation of ax you will get a right so similarly for minus a t is minus a if you again differentiate it partially with respect to t what will you get double differentiation of x a t again when you will take the differentiation of this so a will come out as common a will come out as differentiation so a square Thereafter, double differentiation of this function. Now, coefficient is minus a. Minus a will come out, so it will take, it will form plus a square, right? So, now you can take a square common. What is left? x plus 80, x minus 80, right? So, What is it? This is your first bit, right? So you can see we have changed, we have totally removed these functions. And that was about, that was all the question about. That you need to eliminate the arbitrary functions. I need to form a partial differentiation equation. I hope you understand this video and if so then don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel. Till my next video, take care of yourself. Bye-bye.